Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Blessed Craft Designs. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me today. I have a new, um, I guess you could say a new craft that I'm going to try today. You and I are gonna do this together for the very first time. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I've seen a couple of these on Etsy and there are a lot of videos on um, YouTube how to make um, these Christmas tree toppers that are a hat. Um, I don't know about the Christmas tree topper, but there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to make like a Mad Hatter hat or just hats. And I wanted to do something different for my tree this year. You know, my colors are kind of the earthy tones with the bling, the brown, the creams, the golds. And because I'm, you know, my tree is gonna be a little glammed out, I want a glammed out tree topper. So I said, I'm gonna to attempt to make this on my own. So I want you all to come back and we're gonna to try to make this tree topper together. We're gonna to see what happens, okay? Come right back. Okay, like I said, there are a number of videos on YouTube that shows you how to make Mad Hatter hats and there are other people, other just um, like top hats and things like that. And I wanted to try to make one for my tree topper. I still plan on doing some, you know, glam, you know, with the, the picks and everything kind of sticking out. But I wanted to add something different on there as well. So let me tell you what I have. And I hope I can use this. Again, I'm doing this first time on video. So um, just kind of bear with me. I didn't want to make it. I know that the videos out there show you how to make everything from scratch, but I just so happened to be in Goodwill about a week or so ago, and I saw this lampshade, and I thought, you know, that could probably be a really good hat. I can make it work. I don't know how I'm going to make it work, but <laughs> I think I can so I purchased this and as you can see on the bottom there, it was like $2. I have some batting, you know, I've been doing the ornaments. So this is just fabric that I have, that I've used with the ornaments, a uh, hot glue gun, a pen, a uh, ruler, believe it or not. Yes, I'm have to use a ruler and a piece of poster board. So the first thing I did when I got this, of course, is I cleaned um, this fabric on the lampshade I didn't want to take out the frame because I like the structure of it and I believe if I'm going to use this you know year after year you want something that's going to be sturdy so that's why I opted to get this now what I'm going to do is take my poster board because this is going to be the top of the hat <clears throat> this is the bottom but I need to be able to make the brim for the hat. And I think once I do that, this hat might, it might look like it's coming together right, because right now I'm just kind of clueless how I am going to make this happen. So I'm just gonna trace this. And oh, another thing that I did when I got this lampshade is I kind of, I bent it. It was actually round and I didn't really want a round hat. So I just kind of bent the sides in right here. And then I bent this part in just so it could kind of have more like an oval shape. So that's probably, um, you know, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. So this is going to be the bottom of the hat. And I think I want my brim to go out about two inches. So I'm just going to start making little notches.
Okay, right here, I am just connecting all of those dots that I made a two inch brim all the way around and then I'm going to cut this out. Now this section, I'm just showing you where I'm cutting out the middle piece to this so that you will have that um, kind of oval um, for your pattern. Okay, so in case you're wondering, this will be the brim of the hat, the top, because I need to enclose this. Now, once you trace the top part of your lampshade out, you're going to cut that out. Okay, now that I have my two pieces here, I'm going to cover this in batting. I think the batting would help it uh, so you won't be able to see the metal that's in here. So I have some batting and I might double this and just go around and place this down on my lampshade. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of speed this part up. I'm showing you right here how I'm hot gluing the batting to my lampshade frame. Okay, so what I'm showing you right here is just me hot gluing the fabric down. I did kind of trim it down a little bit so it wouldn't be, you know, so much fabric with me trying to wrap it around the lampshade. But I kind of struggle with this a little bit. As you can see, the hot glue kind of make you could see it, the mark through the fabric, that satin fabric. And I didn't like that, so I just decided to start hot gluing to the bottom and the inside of the lampshade. Okay, you guys, so this next section, I'm getting ready to put down the top fabric. It's this really pretty shimmery fabric. And if you're wondering, these are the exact same fabrics that I use for my ornaments. Um, so I'm just doing the same technique where I'm going to hot glue it to the inside of the lampshade. And I kind of struggle with this part too because this hot glue gun was is new and it is like super hot. I didn't have my little silicone piece that I put over my finger and it was burning. So that's why you see me using, you know, the... Uh, the marker and other stuff to try to get it to hold down. So that's all I did here was try to go through and hot glue the top layer of fabric down to my lampshade.
Okay, so I'm probably going to do a voiceover for the rest of this. I just kind of see where it was a little bit easier. Right here, I'm just covering the what's going to be the brim with the satin fabric, just like I did for the actual lampshade part. And then after I do this and cut it out, then I'm going to cover it with the other, the top fabric as well. Okay, I'm showing you right here. I've covered all the pieces, the three pieces to make this hat come together. Um, you see, there's a lot of things I don't like about this part, but I'm just going to roll with it, and we're going to see how it turns out in the end. And now I'm just going to start assembling all my pieces together with some hot glue. And you can see it's starting to look like an actual hat now so just keep going when it doesn't look right okay uh trust me in the end it's gonna come together Once you get your top piece put on, then we need to put the brim on, and that's what I'm doing in this next section. I know the inside doesn't look too hot, but once you turn it over, it's starting to look like a hat. So let's keep going. Okay, so my next step after putting the top and the brim on is I'm putting this brown piece of satin ribbon around that base part and again this to me just is really when it started to look more like a, a hat i don't know why this piece of ribbon just made a difference to me and if you um in the next section you're going to see how i'm going to put some of that brown cord that i use for one of my ornaments i'm going to use that on here as well just to kind of tie in those uh kind of rough looking edges Okay, so I finished putting the ribbon down, and now, like I said, I'm going to take that brown cord trim. I'm going to put some around the top of this, where the top part and the around the sides where it meets just to kind of cover that gap. And I'm going to put some down around the bottom as well. Okay, so right here, I'm showing you how the hat's coming together, and I kind of fold it up the sides a little bit to make it look more like an actual hat and I had this little pick from Hobby Lobby it was an old one I just cut off the bottom and I'm gonna stick that on the side to try to cover up that little piece of satin ribbon All right, so here's what I have, and I'm just showing you where I put that brown trim around the top. And as you can see in just a second, I'll show it to you around the sides as well, just to kind of cover up some of those rough edges. So it really did make a difference. And I see, you know, I got some gathering of the fabric on the side over there, but that's probably the side that I'm going to use away from where people can see it. But I think it turned out really cute, and I'm getting ready to put this bow on there right behind that piece, of, that pick, and bring it all together.
All right, everybody, here is the final hat. I think it turned out pretty good. It was a challenge getting here. Several imperfections and things that I know I needed, I need to do different if I make one of these again. But I think for the first time, it turned out beautiful. So please let me know what you think down below in the comments and make sure you visit my Facebook page, Bless the Craft Designs, Instagram under the same name, and Pinterest, I'm Bless the Craft. I'd love to see you there. As always, be blessed.